Laura? Shall we give it a go then? Let's do this, Doctor. Whenever you're ready. figure on the gate. Given the age of the symbols, it could be the Sun Queen. Himiko, are you sure you're not channeling Sam, Dr. Whitman? Well, there's no doubt. Himiko had power. Some say shamanistic, elemental. A woman wields that much power, sooner or later it gets called witchcraft. We shouldn't discount anything, even what may seem to us irrational. We still have much to learn about the world. You sound like my father. It could be one hell of a story, Laura. Not if we don't live to tell it. Incredible. Oh, it is Himiko. But look, the bowl, the candles. Why is she still being worshipped? This island, it must have once been part of Yamatai. You were right, Laura. <gasps> the Lost Kingdom. It's like finding Atlantis. But this is real, Dr. Whitman. We're not standing on a myth. No, <laughs> we're standing on a gold mine. Come, quickly. Your friends are hurt. Yes, probably by them. Get back. They can't be trusted. <gasps> you still have a gun. I don't want any trouble. No. We'll come. No. But I insist that afterwards you take us to whoever's in charge. What are you doing? Be quiet. No! I'm handling this! No! No! Oh! no! Please! Get off! Oh! Just, just go along with them, Laura. Do, do whatever they say. Dai minha pistolet. Who are you people? What do you with us? Laura! If they give you any trouble, kill them! Don't hurt them, please! I said, silence, girl. But you know, a good guy, you my sister. Let go! Let go! Laura, run! Oh, no! No! Run them up! Run them up! Don't you fucking move! Kill them all! Hey, bring Don't up the make prisoner! Sound. Yeah, I'm on it! Get down, get down. Anything? I can't find her, she's gone! We'll keep looking! There! Another one! Oh, God! Hey! Hey! You gotta run out of the trap! This group's got some fun. Move out! I'm gonna have to kill most of them. Too bad. We gotta use some new recruits. Hey! The girl is missing! Keep an eye out! All right! What do you see? Uh, nothing. Check the house. Isolate him, please. This one's clear. Keep moving up. Kill the rest. Любишь играть в прятки, малышка? Думаешь удастся спастись? No one escapes. Out. Вылезай! No trust my Vremia! I always find him. Anna Tosha Bila Paradich Nestir. You got the back up! You two will be here!
Came in another tanker? Nah, look like some kind of research ship. Should be some good stuff then. We'll find out soon. What? Get up to uh. Uh. What's going on down there? Are you there? Yes. I can see smoke coming from the old ruins. Are you okay? Oh God, Roth, I'm in trouble. They're killing people. What? Who? Men. I don't know why. I had to kill some of them. I had no choice. That can't have been easy. It's scary just how easy it was. You've got to warn the others, Roth. Don't worry about them right now. You just do whatever it takes to get to me, Lana. I'll try.
The thing about nightmares is sooner or later you wake up. But there's no waking up from this place, which means I'm really here. I'm really doing these things. No, don't think about it, Lara. Not now. It won't help. I don't know what's happened to the rest of the crew. I hope they're okay. They have to be. They have to be. I don't know what the hell is going on here. All that matters is that Roth finds a way to get us home. Days have passed since the plane crash. For a second time, we attempted to escape by boat with disastrous results. I knew it would happen, just like the first time. The calm sea turned hostile with no explanation. The moment we made for open water, the winds picked up, followed by an impossible wave. Like a child's toy, our lifeboat was smashed violently into the rocky shore. Now, two more lie dead, and another is wounded beyond help. The others are starting to panic, and they're looking to me for a plan. I do have one, but it doesn't include them. They are weak and stupid, a liability in this place. I suggested they make another attempt to leave, but I won't join them. To do so would be suicide. This is clear to me now. Looks like a smaller group escaped into the lower forest. Maybe we get a hunting party down there. No, Father Matthias went himself. Told us to stay out. What? What? Oh, damn it! Help me out here! in here somewhere. Find her. Capture or kill? Kill her! She's too much trouble. What was that? Quiet! Quiet! You two, check that side. Got it. Keep 
Keep looking. She's got to be here somewhere. Whoa! You find anything on that side? No. Not a damn thing. Whoa. Hey, watch it. How far down does it go? All the way to the sea caves. Damn. Maybe she fell. No. I don't think so. Oh, Help me what out the of here! There Come she on. is! Overtaking fire! Could have been used by a villager or a noble, maybe. When we washed up on this rock, the rain and wind pounded us for days. We couldn't build shelter or forage for food. Christ, we couldn't even move. It was like some enormous hand was holding us down. Just as the storm was finally breaking, Father Matthias came to us. He was calm and soft-spoken. He seemed to know us, our names, where we were from. He spoke to us in our native language, and we listened. And as we listened, he told us the truth of this island. He offered us a choice, salvation or death. Some chose to defy him, and without hesitation, he killed them then and there. Father Matthias didn't seem malicious or angry, just calm and decisive. As I stood there in the sand, wet with the blood of my comrades. I knew I could never refuse him.
It's a gun by, used by samurai to relay orders to their soldiers in battle. Pretty solid. Must be made of stained cypress. worse than it is. Uh, Have you heard from any of the others? Nothing. Wait, what are you doing? The wolves took my food pack. The transmitter from the lifeboat's in it. If you don't get that back, we're not getting off this bloody island. But you need you need bandages, morphine, antiseptic. And also in the pack. Shit. Exactly. Come here. Don't do this to me, you northern bastard. somewhere.
These ruins come a cure period. Was all this part of Yamatai? After a fortnight, I was at last granted an audience with Her Majesty, Himiko of Yamatai. I must confess, she is unlike any woman I have ever encountered. Beautiful, yet inscrutable, calculating even. She surrounds herself with her priestesses of the sun. No men attend her, save the general of her armies. When I met with her alone, I came to realize that she is not at all what she seems. I was sent by my lord to spy on her, to assess the strength of her armies. But now, I feel she is the one assessing me. My lord has perhaps underestimated the threat of Yamatai. Though I cannot gauge the true strength of her storm god, I cannot deny a powerful feeling that the Sun Queen should not be trifled with.
I just want the pack. That's all. to get this back to Roth. Young lady like you learned to do a thing like that. <laughs> Late shift at the Nine Bells. <laughs> Wolf's got nothing on a broken bottle. Hey, you got it. Nice work. So I assume the plan is to take that up to the radio tower. Well, it should give us the best shot of broadcasting a strong signal in every direction. Send out that SOS. And I'm not climbing anytime soon. Yeah, I was afraid you were going to say that. You can do it, Laura. After all, you're a croft. I don't think I'm that kind of croft. Sure you are. You just don't know it yet. Well, I'll tap on my fast ladder then. Just be careful, Laura.
You might want to give that axe a go on the rock wall over there first. Gilded figures, servants of the Sun Queen. Sacrifice, murder. There's no record of these kinds of rituals in ancient Yamatai. Unless it was erased from the text. built in honor of her priestesses.
anything! No, nothing! What? Nothing! There's no one up here! They never make it up this far! Should we head back up to the bunker? Nah, let's wait out the storm. Got it! Stay alert! Oh, Need help here! What the hell? Ah! I have spoken to some of the villagers on the island. I was expressly forbidden to leave the palace, but this did not stop me. My duties here are clear. I must learn the truth, but the stories I uncovered defy belief. Rumors abound of the Queen's communion with the spiritual world. They say she commands the sun and the rain, that her lands are abundant by her will alone. <laughs> this is certainly nonsense, but what can be the cause of such whispers? Is this how she controls her people? By engaging their primitive superstitions? I saw absolute reverence in their eyes when they spoke of her. Yet, I also sense fear. Her people are treated with fairness, taxed reasonably, and are well protected by her storm god. No wonder some of them even pray to her. It's as if she were more than just a queen to them. Spreading discontent through her people may well be a harder task than I imagined. and pestle, probably used for preparing medicinal herbs. There are small bone fragments in the mortar well. Hopefully animal bones. Try and send an SOS from an old radio tower up here. Any tips? Hey, Lara. You're gonna need to find the communications console. It'll look like a bunch of old switchboards. Okay. I'll let you know when I find it. Hey! 
Hey, wake up, wake up! We got an intruder! Come on, grab her! Please! You, you don't need to do this! feeling about this. I'm telling you, Reyes, it's mechanical, not an electrical problem. Now, Alex. <coughs> uh, this looks like it might be a, an electrical problem. You think? <coughs> oh, hello. Hey. Is this little fox, oh, huh? Yeah. He's cute, huh? <laughs> yeah, he's hey, cute, it's yeah. Alicia. Alicia. It's my like daughter. That. Oh. 14 years old and smarter than you'll ever be. She must, must get that from her father. Don't give him the attention. And, yeah. I'll take a look at this. Probably electrical. From her father. Nice one. So I was on the walk, right? Doing a spot of midnight fishing. Hey, Grim. Time to button down the hatches. I put it with you. So I was on the walk, right? And this thing comes looming at me. Looming out of the water it was. So I give it a real Glasgow kiss, you know. Get shot a trouble nine times out of ten at this. Took me a week to sleep that night off, and I've not touched a drop since. See you at dinner, Sam. <laughs> All right, can we take B roll, please? Thank you. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take three, and action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like this. Yeah, you got... Good Lord, cut! 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 Uh, is, is he coming back? <sighs> I'll go get him. World-renowned archaeologist. Discover the world-renowned archaeologist, fish Mr. Dr. James Whitman. It's just a fish. It's I fine. It's just You're a gonna fish. be fine. This damned reality TV business. I'm, I'm meant to be bringing culture to the people, Sam, not dinner. Uh, no offense, Jonah. The audience demands content, Dr. Whitman. You know that. So until we find the Lost Kingdom, we need footage like this. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? We're gonna make you look like Gordon Ramsay in editing. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take four, action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like that. I've studied them so much, I can see charts on the back of my eyelids. But if I'm not right about Yamatai being in the Dragon's Triangle... I remember when you found that one of your father's digs. You ran up and showed it to me dressed in your penguin pajamas. <laughs> I was five <laughs> years old. It was my first find. Yeah. You've got great instincts, girl. You just have to trust them. Mm. That's what my father used to say. Now, there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. He would have been so proud of you, Lara. We're getting closer to the storm. Well, 
Whatever's coming, we'll get through it, eh? <laughs> Okay, Lara, pull yourself together. They're counting on you. 